Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live at their highest value. Each episode we will bring you our favourite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and aligned business strategies. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you, and we're here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. If you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at www.louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money as you elevate and receive more, you create more for others. Righty ho, let's dive into today's episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I'm so excited that you have joined us for this episode. I have Natalie Woodman in the house. Welcome, Natalie. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And it's wonderful to be here with you. Thank you. I'm so excited for our conversation. And um, I want to share your bio with everybody so that they can understand why I'm so excited. Um, So Natalie is a medical intuitive channel, body consciousness master, psychic surgeon and trauma aware master Akashic consultant with 26 years experience as a physiotherapist and body alchemist. She helps high achieving Fempreneurs align to their highest timeline by creating quantum leaps with ease through body congruence and quantum calibration to live the life and create the business that they desire. Yes, please. She helps women reclaim their sovereign connection to their bodies as a sacred calibration portal, calibrating to truth, abundance, power, potency and love. She makes the unseen seen, the unheard messages heard and bridges the body consciousness connection to what has not been felt or suppressed. She creates body congruence with her work as a medical intuitive by psychically releasing the root cause of rejection, fear, shame or guilt from the body, thereby helping women reclaim the connection to the real her inside. So magical. She (laughs) rebalances their nervous system, recalibrates the body's capacity to hold more life force energy and helps women tap into their sacred body wisdom within whilst working with their body's unique biorhythm. She helps transform the lives of highly successful entrepreneurs who are tired of working against their bodies after burnout by embracing the path of ease and aligning her with her soul aligned purpose and divine mission. Oh, huge welcome. Thank you. And I'm, I know now everyone's going, I now can see why Louise is so excited. <laughs> And we wanted, as we were, you know, getting ready for our conversation, one of the things that we we touched on was recognizing that I know that there's so much we could chat about, but burnout is a is a is a big topic and, and one that uh, you are an expert with helping people with, and I know it will resonate with my audience as well so much. Um, you know, my own journey has included a nice big dose of burnout as well. So um, it's something that um, I know I attract people that resonate with that as as well. So let's let's dive in um, because it is it is a big topic. So what would you say are the, you know, the common areas that influence burnout in, in business and life? I think for many women, where we believe we have to either over deliver or we are used to really giving or over giving and the pattern of people pleasing and um, not having strong boundaries around what is a true yes for you and what is a true no those really really influence the choices that we make, what we say yes to, what we say no to, how hard we push our bodies. And, you know, eventually, if we continue with those, those patterns or those thoughts or those belief patterns running in the background, eventually there's no more to give because we're giving from an empty tank. And, you know, I can speak to this because just, just like you've had burnout, I had it for many years as well. And, It has so many gifts for each and every one of us. I think if we're willing to look deep down for me and for a lot of women, I notice is 
the pattern of not enough and the pattern of perfectionism. It's like, well, I have to do it right. So how am I going to do it right? And, you know, and the fear of failure and what failure means or what we make it mean. And of course, each of us will have a different definition of that. But I remember that was something that I too had to reframe in my mind and help quite a lot of women do as well. And for me, it was, I'm not enough. It's not enough. It's never enough. And that pattern just played out in multiple areas of my life, in my business. And I see that with a lot of women as well, the pattern of either I'm not enough or it's not enough. But a lot of it does stem from the I'm not enough. And then over giving, over delivering, over committing, because that external validation is so important to, to us. And that is something that in order to fully recover from burnout, we have to heal that wound. Yes. Otherwise, it just is going to keep, you know, doing another another cycle. Yeah. Um, once we've recovered from the burnout. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and the body doesn't want want to experience the burnout again. That's certainly one of the things that I've recognised with my clients is when they're coming in and they're wanting to go for another, you know, another goal in business or, um, you know, re- striving and thriving in, in another area in life. That that expansion piece mm-hmm. is the the fear of burnout that the body feels it's like no you're not doing that again (laughs) and rightly so because it's um you know people you very very unwell from it and we've had other um speakers come and share their journeys on the podcast as well who also experience burnout and it, it, it is absolutely absolutely huge and I love what you were saying around you know being able to heal the wound at the root in terms of the I'm not enough um because it does keep um re- reoccurring and you can never have that fulfillment I think in business or in life if that is running under underneath even if you've done an amazing job at something you have over delivered your clients are all raving they're all really happy yeah. if that core belief and feeling is still there it just it's energetically draining isn't it from your from your system so draining it really is and on multiple levels and you know with that pattern running there's never any pause Mm -hmm. you know if if you constantly on the hamster wheel which I know many many entrepreneurs can relate it's like oh my god I still have to do that oh you know that rolling to-do list that's at the back of your head that you have there running um, when you're going to bed, when you get up in the morning and you're like, oh, well, I haven't done that. I've got to do that. I've got to do that. And all of that pressure, that takes up so much energy. It takes up so much life force. And then, you know, if you add all the other layers on, well, I've got to do it perfect. That takes more life force. And then the I'm not enough, more life force. Mm. And, you know, eventually you're, you're only left with half a tank from which to function. And that's your base level. Mm. And it's only when we really shift those mindsets, those patterns and get to the root cause and shift that. And you, you fill up your tank that you realize, you know, what the base level was before and what your capacity is now. And, you know, that then makes a huge difference in how you show up and also the connection to your body. Because I do believe that, One of the greatest gifts that burnout offers each and every one of us is a deeper connection with ourselves and a deeper Mm. connection with our bodies. And it's there for the taking. And it just so happens that burnout was the way that, I'll use myself for example, how I would listen or how I could listen in that moment. Because even though my body gave me signs all along the way, and I know many of you can relate to this, right? That's why I'm laughing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly, right? You know, we're like, no, 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 no. You can keep going, body. It's fine. Let's just keep going. Let's plod along. Mm. And eventually, you know, we keep ignoring the messages that she's giving us all along the way until eventually she's like, that's it. No more messages. Now it's time out. Yes. 
And, you know, then we're having to navigate that internal frustration of, oh my God, now I can't deliver all the work that I promised. And my body's calling a timeout. How the hell do I navigate this? Mm -hmm. And I know what a struggle that that can be. And for many of us, it is, especially when, you know, we're at the top of our game, we run our own businesses, we're really successful. And, you know, that is important to us. But one of the biggest things that I learned and I don't know if some of you can relate to this, but somehow I had linked my work with worthiness, with, you know, what I am allowed to receive. And, you know, I really had to go through a period of uncoupling that. And that is, that was a big thing for me. And I don't know if some of you can relate to that too, but, you know, being able to know that you're already worthy no matter what you give. But yeah. when you run the pattern of people pleasing or overgiving or not enough, and maybe some of you can relate, what you give is maybe 150% compared to everybody else's 100%. Yes. Right? And so that is already huge. And so we have to navigate that journey of, well, what does 100% look like? Mm. Or what is the new 100% going to look like that's in alignment with my body that's not going to force her push her to deliver that still gives me that internal satisfaction because it's not about the external satisfaction it's the internal satisfaction to know that I have done you know a great job and that I am happy with what I've delivered yes so important so important yeah. Um, and like you say, your body is going to be speaking to you along along the way. Um, and I, I, I did giggle when you were saying around the signs um, that she's been sharing before. And I'm and I know the listeners will be going, "Yep, yeah, <clears throat> that's me." <laughs> and being able to say that, yes, I am enough, and I'm worthy of. Actually, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to look after my body. I'm listening. I'm going to, to, to take a moment to, as you, as you were saying, fill your cup up so that you're not trying to pour from an, a, an empty tank. Yeah. Um, and I know you, you talk about body congruence, body congruence in business. Tell us a little bit more around, around that. <laughs> you're like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, you know, I think when we are going through burnout, a lot of us, don't have congruence within our bodies and so body congruence is it's about sort of there's an emotional component and that's working with the emotional body where we may be so disconnected from the body itself that we aren't actually able to tap into the emotions that we feel deep down or that the body is trying to draw our attention or our awareness to that may be suppressed because if we're living in our head we're completely disconnected from mm. the body right and with body congruence the more connected we are to our emotional bodies know that we've cleared we've healed we've released those you know those wounds that hold the deep trauma the wound mm. of i'm not enough the wound of i'm not worthy you know, or the wound of I'm not seen, you know, for some people. So, you know, mm. as we release and we shift that, we then heal your emotional body. And similarly with the mental body, that's the other aspect is, yeah, our programs, our beliefs, you know, our experiences that, that we've had in this lifetime up until when we had burnout all of that influences who we are how we show up what we believe what we believe we deserve what we believe we are allowed to receive how we are allowed to receive right whether we have to give more than we receive and I know all of that is something that many can relate to I know I can firsthand relate to all of that mm -hmm. and you know, when the, all of those imprints, some of it can be ancestral as well that are handed down, that will influence, you know, from a really young age, whether how you show up for your siblings, how you show up for your family, what it means to be valued, mm. what it means or how you are appreciated, 
you yes. know, and how your behavior is modified in order to receive that validation. Mm -hmm. But what I've learned through my, you know, through my own journey and with many women is that there's a period where we never really navigated and reflected on are those patterns, beliefs, programs, are they still valuable? Are they still relevant to who I am, to what I'm here to do and, and how I'm here to share it? Because invariably they get in the way of that. They sure do. <laughs> yeah. They really do. It, it, and and um, I often say to clients as well, you know, when they're, they're like, where did that belief come from? come from it's like yeah it's not yours actually it's probably <laughs> you've just picked it up from all the programming that we have around us like you were saying about you know coming down through the family societal programming all this stuff is um impacting our energy fields the emotional body the, the mental body alongside all the experiences that we've had within our own environment subconscious is making you know <laughs> making up right okay we're going to have this belief running the show unless we take control then actually like we would do a little review of, you know, what's how our business is operating, <laughs> doing a review of how our, this program is operating and, and, and running, running the, the show. Yeah. And so there are two more aspects with regard to body congruence. And the, the other two are sort of your spiritual body and your physical body. And for many with the physical body, you know, the nervous system is one of the other areas that holds so much trauma it holds so much within it and you know the you know if you know if there's fear if you don't feel safe if you have that anxious nervous energy running through your body um if that is what you're using to push and to drive you which for me uh, i did you know my adrenaline is what pushed and drove me to keep going Mm. and um, because I always had that base level of fear running or nervous energy running and you know sometimes some of that can be ancestral it can be passed down it can be through your experiences I remember growing up in South Africa that that also influenced my upbringing because you constantly needed to look over your shoulder mm. you know so you we sometimes forget what is actually held within the body itself what experiences, whilst we haven't fully processed or released, what is actually held in the body at a cellular level? And that is what's going to influence our physical body congruence. Yes. And then spiritually is, well, are we aligned? Are we connected to our heart? You know, and are we connected to our soul aligned mission? And so when we piece all of that together, when your physical, your mental, your emotional, and your spiritual bodies are all aligned in harmony and, you know, this congruence and, and, and harmony between them, that is when we can really create from a different playbook. Mm. we don't have to have the same playbook where we have to create with force or struggle or hustle we get to create in alignment with ease and you know in alignment with our soul aligned mission and in alignment with the body itself not pushing her not forcing her to you know to align to someone else's way of working but to align to your way of working and your body's unique biorhythm it's so important. And you, you, you used a word there that I absolutely love in terms of harmony, because I think that's what all, um, all entrepreneurs are craving in, in, their, in their life, to have that, that harmony across the different areas. So work isn't taking up all the time or family's not taking up all the time. We need to have that, have that balance. And, you know, people come at this from a, a different perspective, but I think you have such a unique, unique way of, of, of working. How does your work with the body help clients to create that harmony in, in their bodies and their, and their business? So I will, I work with the body. I will scan the person's quantum body and certain areas are going to light up in the body mm. itself. And this is the energetic body that I'm talking about. So within the energetic body, I'll be able to see sort of what emotional 
let's call it unprocessed, um, unprocessed cellular memory that is held within the body. What is at the surface that's ready to be shifted that is in the way of what they're wanting to create? Yeah. And this is not about me going in and digging. This is about, you know, working with someone's body to see what they are ready to shift. Because the, we have to also do it in a way that is aligned with you, your body, what your body is ready to release and process. And in a way that this is not going to cause a healing crisis. Yes, It's going to exactly. cause you to be flat on your back for weeks because... Mm. God knows that's that's the worst and I would never wish that on anyone and nor would mm. I want to create that for anyone either so this is about shifting enough to create change you know energetically um, and then physically as well and also working within your mental body because very often you know we can do the energetic work but if the mental programming isn't in alignment with that and if physically you know, you aren't working in harmony with your body, then the shifts that you make aren't going to be integrated. And exactly. so what I want, what I help women do is, you know, whilst we work on the shifts energetically, we, I also work on the programming and the beliefs and we mm -hmm. upgrade and shift those in the same session mm -hmm. and give strategies to work on integrating so that this can be embodied because, you know, we want to create embodied shifts so that you get to see how this plays out physically. And I'll give you an example. I had um, a woman and for her, you know, speaking in public was just really, really uncomfortable. She didn't like, um, you know, networking was, was something that didn't come easy to her. And her nervous system was always frazzled. So it took the least amount of stress for her. Um, or in an environment to set off this reaction in her body, which was her throat would close. So that was her vis a visceral response to stress in her body. And that would happen at any time during the day, whether she was home, whether she was working, and sometimes when she slept as well. Gosh, and so, awesome. you know, and so you can think about how that might affect mm. you, right? Or it might affect someone. And we shifted that within a session. We worked on what was ready to be shifted and her throat closing shifted to by, by 75%. She could mm. feel when it started and actually work with her body so that the reaction wasn't as extreme. She was also able to, you know, recalibrate, you know, her body's ability to know what was minimal stress what was moderate and what was maximal stress because that's what was missing from the connection between her brain and her body yeah. and also through the work that we did we also managed to shift the sisterhood wound for her which was just a beautiful added bonus which meant that she no longer had that competition of mm. oh my god what is so and so doing oh my god i've got to do you know got to do better none of that was there she's just like this is my lane this is my work this is my zone of genius and this is what i am here to share and so that was the beautiful shift that you know was created in how she showed up for her business through working on her her energetic and her physical body it's so powerful isn't it like uh, thank you for sharing that example because it really brings to life uh, people who may be perhaps new to considering <laughs> um you know how what is going on emotionally and spiritually and, and mentally can impact our body but then also that the whole impact of how that affects our business and how we then show up and of course then how we're able to serve the clients or even to even connect with the clients if we've got that congestion and that restriction coming up in our throat chakra mm -hmm. around um you know in the 3d day-to-day -day going to networking events or doing networking online however however it may be it does have a a, a huge impact and I, something I always say to my clients as well is around, you know, listening to your listening, listen to your body whenever, you know, as you know, like we do a lot of muscle testing in my world. And one of the things I love is it's helping helping people because they really you, the, the process that I teach helps them to 
really become aware of what is their body saying to them. And I'm, and I'm sure you must see that as well, where people suddenly realize <laughs> that their body is talking to them. And they might not, because you mentioned earlier about how people often are living, you know, up in their heads, haven't paid attention, just might feel these things as aches and pains, not really connecting that it's a language. <laughs> yes, totally. It's a whole <laughs> new language, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to learn a new language and then you'll be like, oh, OK, this is what's going on. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I love it, you know, because here's what I've also noticed is, the body does communicate through aches and pains, but that's only one way. And mm -hmm. it's if we ignore those aches and pains that they become magnified. But if and when we take a moment to tune in, if there is an ache and pain and we do it in the now moment, like, okay, well, body, what are you telling me right now? Mm -hmm. Then once you get the message, the pain will actually shift. The pain will actually go. You know, it's the same like, a migraine it's the same like you know ankle knee or shoulder pain or anything for that matter is when we take that moment to check in then and there as soon as the body's communicating the more we do that you know the more the messages can be fleeting yes yes it's so powerful so powerful so you don't have to have that migraine for 10 years <laughs> you could have it for <laughs> you know a, an hour or so as you're deciphering the the, the message <laughs> um for it to then to to pass through i just love all your wisdom and uh, i know you've got if we could talk about this <laughs> all day <laughs> but you i know you have some you know pertinent lessons that you've learned from your experience with burnout and i'm and i'm sure that that would be really helpful helpful reflections for our listeners Sure. So um, for me, physically, it was about really connecting to my body and mm. checking in with her at regular intervals to go, okay, what is your base level energy level? Mm -hmm. Okay. And from there, I created this classification of the scale specific to my body to go, okay, so you have energy to give, or actually you, you don't have energy to give today. And making a decision from that point to go, what is in alignment with my body so that I get to show up as all of me, the best version of me. And so that was something that really came through burnout for me is being okay with rescheduling. Mm. Okay with saying, I'm so sorry, right? Right now, I won't be able to show up as 100% with 100% of my attention, my presence, um, to be there for this conversation. Mm -hmm. And I would love that. And therefore, would you mind if I rescheduled? And that was something that I really needed to hone and practice and not feel guilty about. Because there's one thing about knowing what your body needs to do, but then there's another thing about feeling guilty about what you have to do. Because you're concerned about how it's going to be perceived or how it's going to come across. And for me, I had to really detach from the expectations of others mm. and really put my body first because it was time to put the oxygen mask on, you know? Yes. And she was really saying, it's me or it's the highway girl. Choose. <laughs> you've got a choice <laughs> yeah you've got a choice you know how much more how much more do you want to learn through your body are you willing to integrate are you willing to make shifts in your lifestyle are you willing to adjust and course correct or do you want to keep going on this trajectory and this course yes and you know I I have a background in physio, so you can understand and appreciate how challenging that was because for me, because my body is something that in the past I took for granted because she just used to show up. She's strong. She can do whatever I needed her to do. But I had, I'd undervalued and underappreciated her. And so there was this whole journey that I had to go on with really learning to value myself, learning to value what I 
bring forth in this world and that it's not only physical things it's like what what are all the other things that I wasn't allowing myself to acknowledge that I brought to the table of a conversation of you know to to my work that I was that you know I was providing so all of that alongside really working with my body and the emotions you know, what had been suppressed, what I hadn't processed, what I thought I processed, but there was a deeper layer to shift that was yeah. influencing burnout. And again, you know, it was the wound around not enough, I'm not enough. Mm. And there was quite a lot of shame that was held within my body at a cellular level, shame, guilt, and judgment. And for me, that was something that I really had to shift and clear and release and declare to myself that, you know, I, I will no longer shame my own body and shame is not a conversation or anything that I want to be around. Mm. Um, and I'm just not available for it. I'm just not available for that conversation on any level. If anyone else wants to shame, I'm just not available for that either. And so, you know, really standing my ground for, well, what am I available for now? What are my values? What are my beliefs? And then aligning to those and releasing everything else that isn't in alignment with my truth. Mm. And one of the biggest other gifts was really learning no. And that no was a complete sentence. And mm -hmm. it's fascinating for, and I think as entrepreneurs and business um, women, we all go through this journey of, you know, really connecting to our no and for me, that was a journey, it was connecting to the no from my body, the no from my voice, and then the no from both of it, because just getting the word no out was uncomfortable sometimes um, early on in my journey with burnout. So, you know, really being able to connect with your body and then knowing, well, what is a sacred yes in alignment with my body what is a sacred no in alignment with my body and then having the courage and the confidence to share that from a place of love and not being attached to how it's going to be received even though it's being shared with love or from a presence mm -hmm. of love it's detaching from how some what someone will make that mean or how that might be perceived especially having run the good girl people please mm. program before that was such an important thing that I had to do and then you know with business it was really adjusting my business because at the time I had a brick and mortar business so I had a, a big physiotherapy practice with large overheads and you know a really big team and my body was asking me to restructure things it's like this is not the way for you love yeah this is not your way <laughs> you know? yeah can you see that this is not your way and I'm like yeah I can see this is not my way yeah. and having the courage to walk away from something when it's not working and I not making so it important right yeah because it's sometimes we can decide that somehow that is a failure rather yeah. than a pivot an adjustment and expansion, the next evolution of your purpose. We, if we listen to the, the negative voices, the mean girls at school or, or whatever program can be running of the not enough, yeah. I'm not enough. So therefore I'm going to have to, to pivot. Actually, no, this is your next expansion about how you can actually impact a broader community because you can reach them globally now because you have brought your business online rather than people only being able to find you locally. Mm -hmm. In, in your practice I loved listening to you Natalie you know as you were talking I, I could really feel the relationship that you have with yourself because it is a relationship isn't it and of course what I'm taking away from our conversation is that essence of uh, if we don't nurture our relationship with ourself and part of that being our body of course you have to nurture relationships otherwise they fade away um, and you know they they dissolve and disintegrate. And that's not going to be good in, in terms of our in terms of our body. We, it really does need yeah. that that nurturing and listening um, and and love. Yeah. Oh, so good, so good. Thank you so so much for sharing all your wisdom. I know that you've got an amazing freebie to to share with everybody. I would love to. Do you want to tell everyone what that is and then how they can keep in touch with you before we wrap up? 
Sure. Well, I, I've got two freebies on my um, web page, but, you know, I'm being called to share and to talk about the one that's called Surrender to Healing. And this one, I think for many, you know, going through or have burnout or who are coming out of burnout or burnout recovery, it's like navigating that period of how can we heal without the the guilt mm. how can you surrender to the healing know, knowing that if you took a day out and really gave your body what she needed you know would you show up with much more vibrance and aliveness the next day or the day after so this is an activation where there is a group release there's a release in there that helps you shift and release the fear judgment, shame, mm. and really aligning to surrendering because burnout is all about surrendering, surrendering to your healing, surrendering to your journey, surrendering to co-creating life and finding your unique way. So I think that one would be the one. Thank you. Download re received. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I know I really encourage everyone to go and check that out because I think that's going to, that's a superb gift for people to receive. So thank you so, so much. And how can people keep in touch with you, um, Natalie? So um, my website is bynatliewoodman.com. So you can find me there. You can also find me on social media and my handle is bynatliewoodman. I love that by Natalie Woodman. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, Natalie, thank you so, so much for sharing your time with us today and all your wisdom so many nuggets in there so so good and thank you to all our listeners who have joined us today for our conversation as well I know that you will have absolutely enjoyed this so much um, so thank you so much Natalie thank you for having me thank you everybody for joining us today looking forward to connecting with you all again very very soon sending you loads and loads of love and thank you so much for being here until next time namaste Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.